Good afternoon, Lace Jump, and I'm John, this is many a true nerd, and welcome to System Shock, which is one of the most curiously influential games uh, in all of gaming history. So uh, gather round and let me tell you a tale. Way back in 1994, the original System Shock came out, and uh, it was not a success. In fact, the company that made it, Looking Glass, literally lost money on the project. A few years later, 1999, System Shock 2 comes out. A tiny bit better, but still not really that successful for Looking Glass, which kind of sounds like it should be the end of the story, but it's not. Because the people who worked on System Shock ended up all around the gaming industry. And they went on to make some of the most famous, well-known and successful games of all time, and went on to overtly state, this is basically inspired by System Shock. The original Deus Ex, Warren Spector said some of System Shock's DNA lives on in that game. Hell, Bioshock was so inspired by System Shock, that's why Bioshock is called Bioshock. Prey, in 2017, could not have been more inspired by System Shock. In its setting, and tone, and upgrade system, this is a game that has cast a huge, huge long shadow that we are still feeling 30 years after it came out. And I've never played it before, and as I say, basically nobody did, but that might be about to change, because eventually, after some legal wrangling, the IP ended up with Night Dive Studios, the team who are basically specialists at taking old classics and bringing them back to the modern world. They did the same to Shadow Man 64 a few years ago, that was a really brilliant remaster. And that's what we've got here, the original System Shock brought forward into the future with a shiny new coat of paint, so... Okay, time to find out what I've been missing all these years. Okay, straight off the bat, we have got four distinct difficulty settings. For combat, overall mission progression, cyber, which I'm pretty sure is like the hacking minigame, and puzzles, which is distinct from cyber, so... Okay, you know what, I'm just gonna leave everything on normal, because I don't really know which one I ought to change or not, but... I admire a game that's got, like, you know, that level of customization to it. So, okay, it's the nightmare dystopia future, you can tell, because one, the buildings are really tall, and two, I just happen to be listening to the radio, and they're discussing whether or not humanity might be about to stop needing to fear death, which I'm guessing is about to lead to, like, you know, zombies, cyber zombies, zombies in cyberspace, one or the other, something of that nature, anyway. I do rather like the sort of retro futurism they've decided to go for, for the graphical style where plenty of things just dotted around my apartment are still slightly pixelated and a bit old school. Oh my goodness, I've even got a game break and a giant chunky light gun. Marvellous. Right, time to nip into my laptop and see what we've got going on today and... Uh, I think I'm not supposed to be here. I think I might be doing some hacking on my giant pixelated laptop. Oh yeah, 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 I definitely wasn't supposed to be doing that. Okay, to be honest, that was an impressive level of response time by the hacking police. Turn around, now! We're transporting the prisoner from New Atlantis Sector 11. What's our destination? Diego's office is requesting the prisoner. Make the handoff there. I'm currently attending to other affairs on the station, but I have a job for you. If you do it, you'll be rewarded. Refuse, and you won't be leaving the station in a shuffle. I see the silent type. Remove the hood. I'll make you a deal. You cooperate, and I'll give you the implant you tried to steal. Surgery and all. Consider it a gift. Besides, what surgeon would you prefer? Try Optimum's Elite or some black market hack job? Fantastic. This is Shodan, the station's AI. She controls just about every system on Citadel Station. I need you to remove the ethical restraints. They've been a bit of an issue of late. Okay, now to me, this feels like a really bad idea that's not going to end well. Not bad. I may have other work for you once this is over. See you. I'm guessing by the time I wake up, you're gonna really be regretting turning off the don't kill everyone setting. Well, I've woken up in neurosurgery and there is suspiciously nobody here, so okay. I'm guessing things may have gone a bit wrong while I've been asleep inside my healing incubator, so... 
Okay, just uh, mosey on round. We've got things. Honestly, I see no reason not to pick up literally everything. Welcome to the world of me playing video games. Marvelous. Okay, so this is apparently one of those games with, uh, yes, a proper inventory system. You know, where things have got to fit in your inventory as they should do. So maybe I shouldn't actually, you know, bring along... Yeah, I probably don't need to bring along the bedpan. That we could just sort of leave here. Though we could also vaporize. Getting me scrap. Recycle reward 10 for 1 credits. Okay, so I can basically loot the entire room, vaporize all of it into tiny, tiny bits and pieces that I might be able to use for things down the line, because apparently I've just got, like, you know, a vaporize module built into my brain or something. Marvelous. All right, time to figure out precisely how wrong me turning off the don't kill everything setting has gone, because I'm guessing... Oh my goodness, it's a lead pipe. Ah, oh, I'm basically doing yes. Bioshock nostalgia in reverse right now. Beautiful. Use that to crack open all of this. One mapping McJibble. How about we just uh, plug this into my... I was thinking eyeball, but apparently ear instead. Lovely. We got someone. Employee 2-4601. I'm Rebecca Lansing. Please remain seated. Our scans for Citadel Station show biological outbreak is in progress. We're in a comms blackout since Shodan is unresponsive. And worse yet, the mining laser is charging for potential strike on Earth. Nathan Darcy has an office on the medical level from Central Hub. If he's alive, he'll bring the situation under control. I'll contact you through military neural implants soon. Lansing, out. Okay, turning this station into a Death Star laser to attack Earth. That is actually, I'm going to be honest, significantly worse than I thought it was going to be. Oh, and we've got a robot who... And I'm going to be honest, he kind of like, you know, feels like he might be a friendly robot. But also there is a corpse next to him. Hello? Oh, hang on, I think death is written on the front of him. I'm pretty sure the word death was just... Okay, um, it's probably best we whack you with a... I'm so sorry, you kind of look like a fun robot. You looked a bit like Alpha 5, but, um... I'm pretty sure he wasn't a fun robot, actually. Right, just assume every robot is trying to kill me. Especially those uh, standing over corpses. Still, we're okay for the time being because, yes, what we've got here is a lovely surgical machine I can use to top up my health. So, okay, there's going to be the odd machine I can find that just keeps me in tip-top condition. Lovely. Okay, I'm going to be honest, I'm not really keen on the fact that, yes, there appear to be cameras in here. And they appear to be looking at me. I don't like that. And level security is now 96%. 92% okay. I'm not getting out of security, and that feels like that might be, like, you know, uh, important. Press to use the keypad. Required coach should be nearby. Alright. Presumably. Hang about, hang about, hang about. How are we going to get into the office? Manually locked. Round two. Hello, sexy. Crack you over to here. This has got to be a hello there. Right, I feel... Oh, hang on. There's... There's something wrong with your face, by the way. Okay, one switch. Cracks open a one door. And... Data stick. Probably going to give me a little bit of information too. New code. Hang about. 451. Beautiful. Okay, 451... There we go. Oh, hello! Hi! You're a zombie or something. I'm just gonna whack you in the head, actually. Maybe just give you a little bit of a little bit of a whacking. Right, so there we go. Dead humanoid enemy. Bit on the uh, empty side, uh, apparently. Right, so, uh, yep, yeah, definitely zombies and all. Oh. Hello there! Welcome back to Citadel Station. We hope your somnolent healing stage went well. Today is the 6th day of November, year 2072. You are currently in the healing suites, located on the first level. All levels can be accessed by the elevator in, in, in Alpha Quadrant. We hope you have a pleasant stay on Citadel Station. Okay, so Shodan's occasionally just going to be, you know, calling me up to say hi. Honestly, she seems pretty chill, all things considered. Lovely. 
And straight away, okay, we have got all sorts of places we could go. So, a storage room. Crack you open. It needs a certain level of access. So, move along to the next. Hello. You don't look like a zombie. Are you a zombie? Are me and you cool? I mean, we seem pretty cool, all things considered. Oh, and flip me audio longs to explain what's going on in the, yes, dead dystopia I've just stumbled into. This is where it all started. This is why you get audio logs in basically every game that looks and works a bit like this for the next 25 years. Whoever finds this, take up the cameras and the CPU nodes and you'll gain more control over the level you're on. Show Dan won't see everything. Do better than us. I told you. I told you we wouldn't be apart for long. Okay. Need to take over the level by slowly breaking Shodan's influence over it. Meanwhile, over here. Oh my goodness, okay, I knew this game obviously, you know, was strongly related to Bioshock. I didn't realise it was this closely related. Okay, I'm going to be honest, I'm kind of regretting not putting, you know, the puzzles onto easy, because that, um, that took me a while. On the plus side, now the lift works, so that's good. I've no idea where the lift goes. Hopefully somewhere really bloody good, because otherwise this was all... You better be dead. Okay, it's pretty dark down here, but I can definitely hear chittering. And that's... That's a robot scorpion that's also got a flamethrower. Good. No. No. Bad robot scorpion. None of that. Why would we even have those? I mean, okay, it says repair box. So maybe it was like... Okay, it was a welding bot. That's sort of acceptable. But regardless, it did not need to look like a scorpion. And now here we go. Recycler, which actually does look like the one in Prey. So okay, this game's influence just echoes down the decades. So okay, buddy, you can have uh, some lovely... No, put it in the recycler, you stupid bastards. There we go, into the recycle station, like that. That's how we do that. So then we just uh, press to start, process the junk, and... Uh, I get myself a pile of money. Lovely. Right, keep on keeping on, and also keep your eyes open for, you know, anything we can smash that- ooh. I mean, I'm sort of getting grenade vibes right there, but oh, hang on. Grenade room, potentially. Needs a switch, needs right, need a code to get into what may or may not be where they keep- yeah, armory icon. Okay, I'm feeling good about that door. We need to find the code for that door. And if there could be less scorpions between me and there, that would be all. Okay, now admittedly, that sounds a bit sinister and he might have a gun of some description. But on the other hand, last time we ran into a cyborg, he was actually chill. So I'm going to work under the assumption... Hello? Are you chill? Okay, he's he's not, he's not, he's not chill. He's not chill. This one is not chill. Just that first doctor was chill. Also, I'm hearing a lot of growling around here, which suggests potentially, right, he wasn't alone, so just check him for standard 9mm. Okay, now that's good. That's good. Right there. Just need something to, like, you know, shoot those out of, etc, etc. Hello, you're just a basic zombie. That's nowhere near as bad, actually. You know what? I just feel like hanging out in here because this guy is apparently the only friendly guy in the entire station. So me and him, we can be friends. Also, I just realised having come back in here, there's a security card chilling out right here. Okay, well, I'm glad I came back in here to say hi to literally the only friendly thing in the entire area because uh, that gets me into this storage room right here. By any chance, have any of you guys got like a 9mm pistol or whatnot? Okay, this is just where someone was storing their cola. And a frag grenade! Okay, well, that makes this all very worthwhile. Oh, I think we might be on something here because, okay, you're not going to be needing this anymore. I've got a gun. Okay, I'm pretty sure we've got trouble up ahead. So, okay, time to see how well this works. So, boom, boom. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, flipping yeah. Basically, screw you, you stupid bastard. Lovely. And okay, maybe headshots. Headshots seem to do better. Okay, slight, slight issue, by the way. Um, I think I may have possibly, yes, annoyed. Okay, I think I've annoyed a turret. I've annoyed a, ow! No, 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 are you dead? You may or may not be dead. Take out the security. Okay, hang on. I may not be able to take this thing out yet. Like, this might be why I'm taking out all of these flipping. Hang on. What does this one do? What am I even doing right now? Oh, that's a lift that gets me down somewhere. Right, okay. This is big and complicated, as it turns out. Also, screw you. Uh, security goes down. Can I turn off these robots just by taking out all of this nonsense? No, no. Can I even take this thing out? Because I'm not convinced I can. I think possibly... Okay, I can, but it's on the tough side. Ideally, perfect world. Uh, yes, I'd rather it just didn't attack me in the first place. If I was to, you know, say, do I need ID tanks? I'm going to take ID tanks. Those sound like they might theoretically be useful. Right, okay, so really need to get security level down. So the robots chill out a bit, ideally. Okay, so this area where that fight just was, that brings me around to, uh, yes, the area I got to through the plank corridor. So yeah, you 100% don't need to solve the lift puzzle. But if you do, it does let you, yank yeah, get to this area without having to go by the hopper fight at the end. So yeah, you're literally choosing puzzle or slightly tough fight. Speaking of which, just mosey on straight down over here. Down into this under. Oh, hello. Just a basic zombie. Basic zombies are fine. Not a problem. I'm still just primarily on the lookout for, yes, a green data stick that might get me the armory key code. So keep on keeping on. And, ooh. Just to confirm, yep, definitely in space. Probably, I was about to say probably best not hit this with a hammer. I mean, I'm going to do it anyway, but... Gosh darn it, I'm not allowed to blast myself into the void of space. Well, that's just disappointing. I... I'm one of the last that hasn't been changed yet. Mira and the others are, are dead. I saw them die, but... I, I think I saw Mira in one of the corridors yesterday. She had so many implants. I... I couldn't be sure. <clears throat> Shodan has modified the regeneration base. So they do things to you now. I'm... I'm gonna try to override the cyborg protocols. The medical level regen bay. If it works, then maybe I won't die from this infected arm. It's throbbing and pulsing. God, it hurts. Okay, so that's good and horrifying. That yes, the medical base. That was how she got ya. She changed you when you went to get medicine. Meaning, the more damage you did to the humans, the better, because they had to go to the base eventually to get help. And uh, arguably, the more horrifying bit. Yes, he wasn't sure whether his own friend had been brought back or not because. Uh, She'd been so modified, uh, he couldn't actually tell if it was her or not. Okay, so this is good, effective horror. Marvelous. Then just round the corner, there is literally a pile of skulls. Okay, that might be overdoing it a bit there, game. Oh, and I think I see another flamethrower robot. So yeah, basically, um, don't, don't try and melee him. Probably a bad idea. Definitely a good idea in the event of a flamethrower to, uh, yeah, maybe consider actually using the gun. That's a good time to use the gun, okay? I feel like I'm using good gun logic right now. Keep on keeping on. Keep on flicking switches. I keep on checking. Oh, every... Okay. Biological contamination. One LBP. Right there. So there's something really bad going on in that room. Chemical storage tank. How much do I want what's in that room? Like, on balance. Okay, we go in. We get the thing. Then we... Oh, hang on. I, I don't know how bad the situation is with... Okay, we're just going in. They're literally all empty. 
The room was, in fact, it's nothing but a couple of grenades. Okay, how much am I dying from this? Also, what have you got on you? Nothing, and you also died screaming in agony. Okay, I got a little bit biologically contaminated there. Not 100% sure, like, you know, how badly or whatnot. But I'm sure it's all fine in the end. And then we have got... Oh, I don't trust you. You know what? Before I even try and interact with this door, I'm getting out the grenades. And... Uh, door is manually locked. Well, there's definitely a big scary robot the other side. Right, that might be a Skyrim door. We might need to, like, you know, loop around it, potentially. Also, I still want to get the armory open, so hang on. Back to that corridor, because apparently, yes, I completely missed a door. Thank you very, very much, Mapping McChibble. Just sneak up behind. You, buddy. No, 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 no. Down you go. Everyone in the head seems to stagger them pretty effectively, actually. Marvellous. Not close by to surgery. So we just, you know, nip back to the surgery if we need to. Speaking of which. Honestly, this kind of looks like a surgery too. Maybe I can use this though, John. You did literally just hear the um, Yes, using surgery was bad. Like, you know, it turned you into a monster. Like... Okay, I may have already committed to the bad ending. I'm not 100% sure about that. Getting supplies from the West Wing of Medical Costas. Hansen and Reigns. At this rate, we're dead in hours rather than days. Weeks of loss after loss is taking its toll. We're going to rush the access corridor that leads to the bridge and take down Showdown. If we don't... I'll make sure there isn't enough of me left to be used to spare parts. Okay, that might explain why, yes, there's a fair few people in little bits and pieces dotted about. And why Resist is written in blood? They were deliberately disfiguring themselves so they couldn't just be uh, turned into zombie robots. Okay, this is really good and horrifying, isn't it? Right, okay, just keep on keeping on. Pretty sure I saw Justine here a second ago. Okay, this has got to be good. All right, one key card. Uh, lovely. I'm pretty sure that's the same one I picked up earlier. So, okay, just in case you missed it. And uh, one gas grenade. Lovely. Oh, we've got, we've got, uh-oh. Okay, hang on. We might have uh, bigger problems here, by the way. So, okay, I've decided to go over to a Ghana because there's definitely... There's a robot. Yeah, there's a robot. There's a ro- You seem like a- Okay, you know what? Uh, this- This- This feels- This feels like an excellent EMP sort of uh, situation right there. I'm just going to crack that open. Did that hit you? Okay, you're fat. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Okay, also, I'm almost dead. I feel like I'm definitely almost dead right now. Uh, this is- This is- This is- This is- This is- Whatever that is, go! And then also maybe, like, use one of these. Ow! Never mind, I'm dead. Oh, and there's a special game over screen where I get turned into one of them. Oh, that's lovely. Thank you, Hack Hacker, for seeing that my that my vision is is, is best. Oh, I do enjoy a special custom game over screen. That's lovely. Okay, here's what we're going to do this time. Cause now I know there's a big terrifying murder robot just around the corner, which is a. Uh, I'm going to use uh, the EMP grenade. All right, I see you right there, buddy. EMP grenade, uh, right over to you. That's got to take you out, right? And, oh, well, you came to investigate that too. Well, you're just a zombie, so that's... Oh, that's a very, 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 very... Okay, that, that does nothing. Right, that just very literally, like, you know, temporarily takes care of him. So, grenade, uh, right over there. Back over to gun... Okay, normal grenades. Much more effective, though possibly much more noisy, because I can't help but notice I'm now being sort of, uh, yes, charged by all the zombies. Please stay down. Thank you. Right. Dead Cyborg Mantis. These are dangerous by the Luxy of it. Okay, handful more ammo and whatnot in here. Nothing else too dramatic, so... Keep on keeping on. Yeah, I see ya. I see ya. To be honest, I really shouldn't be jumped. Why are you wasting ammo on this bastard? Don't waste ammo on this bastard. Just whack him in the head with the old pipe. That works just fine too, okay? That's all a-okay. Just keep the gun out in the event of, you know, something nasty or so. I hear the bleep bleep. I heard you, security system. Where the cock are you? Oh, it's down here somewhere, but also this room is apparently, like, radioactive. 
Also, I mean, no, hang on, seriously, where's the... Where's the thing? I wanted to take down... There you go, I knew you were here somewhere. Also, uh-oh, okay. Level of security is going down, but also, there's a lot of uh, radiation going on, so, no. Up, up mode, please. Thank you. Oh, hang on. Why do I get the feeling you're going to need to speed up? Oh, cock me, it's a different puzzle. What the cock is this now? Okay, plug wire into thing makes power do thing ah need to get power to fill up this bar down over here by flicking the various switches and whatnot but okay how precisely do we make the power yeah flow better well you're doing fine already okay this one seems not so bad uh, in various ways. I mean, that looks pretty full to me. What more do you want, buddy? Oh, you don't want to be full, do you? You want to be precise. I think I just solved that one by accident. Like, good, I guess. Todd got the combination for the armory on medical. It's 705. Once we're armed, some of the survivors want to head for the flight deck and escape. Others want to try for the bridge. They think that if we can take Shodan offline, we can retake the station. I'm heading out to lead a group on Darcy's plan. Together, we will beat this. Okay, we finally got the code for that armory. Bloody hell, I've been waiting for that. Right, nip back through here. It is incredible, by the way, how fast I've just, you know learnt this area. It is a testament to how well the levels have been designed. Like, I immediately knew how to get from where I was back over to here. Like, straight away, I just, no, that was, that was the wrong code, John. Oh, here we go. It's kind of full of corpses, admittedly. Right, that was more corpses than I was hoping for, but, I mean, it's an armor. It's got to, I've already got a cocky gun, but then again, hang on. Weapon upgrades. That's not a gun. That's, just out of interest, how many credits do I have? Seven. Right, but in theory, if I was to do, say, some recycling... Oh, we've got mines and everything. Yep, okay, I'm a happy camper all of a sudden. Lovely. And I've even got a spark beam side armor. Okay, now that has got to be... I was about to say good against robots, but equally like... How much ammo do I have for that thing? Well, it's not listing like an ammo type or anything, so hang on, if I just fire this, then... Does it just reload over time or something? Like, hang on, am I emptying the... I have no idea how to, like, make it... Well, it doesn't reload or anything, so okay, I'm gonna call this a huge win and assume it's good against, you know, robots. And meanwhile, uh, yeah, we've also got ourselves... Uh, ammo for sale. So, okay, the armory is not, in fact, just a source of stuff. It's simply a shop for stuff. So, basically, bloody space capitalism. Okay, but on the other hand, I do have a few bits and pieces that might be worth some good money, like a damaged gun that's not, like, my gun or anything. I mean, that's some money straight away. Oh, and there's even more damaged guns. That's another three right there. All of you stupid losers have probably got trash on you. Just need to basically, yes, find enough junk that I can get rich off. The enemies are definitely respawning, aren't they? Yeah, there's definitely respawning enemies going on. And hang about, don't mind me, buddy. There we go. You just chill out right there. I just need junk, okay? Giant piles of broken guns would be ideal. Oh, you see, I'll take this. Like any room with lots of stuff in it, I could just take... I don't have room for all of this, but that's fine. We vaporize all of this stuff as we're picking it up. Okay, hang on. That laptop is right. Certain junk is actually quite valuable to sell. I mean, a notepad's one credit on its own. This laptop is, that's five. You're three right there. Lovely. Okay. So actually, the junk economy is pretty generous. Oh, I've discovered something very interesting about the spark beam, by the way, which is, um, yes, I can set its charge, and I've put it into over modes, meaning whenever I fire it, 
That happens. Then it just takes a moment to cool down. And it's ready for another go. But honestly, I feel like, why would I ever use anything but this? Because this would appear to have infinite ammo once it's recharged. Okay, never mind. Just immediately ran out of ammo. And now, okay, now I'm getting swarmed by zombies. Um, this is, this is many, 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 many. Okay, this is everything, everything. I'm about to die, aren't I? Yes, I am. Uh, which one was, like, still full of charge, by the way? I swear there was still one that had some charge in it. No! No, there's... Okay, maybe just go ahead and go. Just start shooting the zombies with with uh, all the all the app. Okay, there's. I'm pretty sure she's yes. Like just putting more and more zombies into this place as I go. I think that might be the official reason for what's going on. Please, please, please stop falling over. Please stop. Okay, this is 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 fine. Aside from the fact, yes, the zombies keep ambushing me when I least want them to. Yeah, I think possibly I'm upsetting Showdown a bit because the number of enemies is just, just getting much, much worse. Okay, just crack you open. I've got things for you, Showdown. Now give all of that and... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, flipping yeah. We're up to 19. Just a tiny, tiny bit more. How would you like, like, yes, an old broken down weapon? And also possibly a weapon that's got no charge because I'm not 100% sure how to, like, you know change the charge or anything. Okay, I don't even know what this thing is, but I'm giving it money. Take my kit from dispenser. Single use items, upgrade specific weapons. How do we use said thing? Increases our oh, magazine capacity. Right, so you are now much, much better at not having to be reloaded. Also, I'll be having some ammo too. Right, back to the first hallway. Now we've got into the old oh, cock me. There are so many cocky zombies. Uh, Shodan's definitely sending more. All right, she's getting wise to me. The situation is getting uh, out of hand in a hurry. So don't mind me, don't mind me. Don't mind me, don't mind me. Couple of hits, lovely. I've got all the security cards now, so I can get into all the lovely side rooms, which is nice. Oh, but hello, sexy. I've found cyberspace, so okay. It's time to start doing some... Oh, retro 90s hacking. I love it. I have no idea what I'm doing. Am I, am I doing a... Okay, I'm in a really weird room. Go and get the cube. Okay, I've acquired... Holy flip me. This is the most 90s thing I've ever seen. This is beautiful. So, okay... Now I've got that, which lets me do, yeah, barrier deactivation, lets me move forward. Holy flip me, this is, this is incredibly nice. No, no, no. Okay, that's fine. Maybe shoot those. Yeah, screw you, viruses. That's what viruses look like because it's the 90s, damn it. Oh, oh I love incredibly dumb, stupid ways of representing cyberspace. Right, flank around all of you and get my connections going down if the pink stars shoot me, damn it. Right, keep on keeping on. Maybe help myself too. Cyber health. Oh, this is. This is the greatest thing I've ever seen. Oh, flip me. I think we might be going back to the real world through the cyber tunnel. And here we go. I think what I just did was um, I unlocked a door. Pretty sure I just unlocked a door right here. Yeah, this door was locked and now it's, um, now it's open. 10 out of 10, game of 1994. You know what? This was worthwhile because now I've got the Magpulse Rifle. You know, I should really go to literally the first objective of the game because literally everything you've seen is just like, you know... The first tiny tutorial area. Though, this game doesn't really have a tutorial, to be honest. Like, mainly, you just mosey around doing your own thing, figuring everything out for yourself. So, here we go. I see some people up there, and also I see you, buddy. No, 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 no. None of that. Just keep everything ticking down. Right. Mosey to the end. Yeah, sort of uh, missed this elevator last time I was uh, passing by. Right. Althea Grossman. Uh, hang on. I was looking for... Yes, Darcy. Dr. Darcy. That's who I was after this whole time. Also, I really rather enjoy that, yes, having kind of blasted his head open, his eyes have come out of his head, but they're still focusing and looking. 
Oh, that's... That's lovely right there. Oh, but I tell you what. Yeah. The junk in the management offices. That's got to be worth a lot more. Like, yeah, that's one credit, three credits. This is money. Like, looking for the right stuff to try and loot, that's part of the fun. And let me tell you, I am shocked that Dr. Darcy is in fact not leading the resistance against Shoten and is instead a corpse. Still, help myself to one system analyzer. Brilliant, just plug that into like the chest or something, I'm not sure. And a super awesome pink key card. Okay, very nice. New thing, I'm completely out of storage space by the way. Oh, to fire it into the station's own shields. I barely made it to my office, so you'll need to get up to the research level, get isotope X-22 for the shields, and get the safety override code for the laser in the research library. Head down to the reactor and use X-22 to power the shields. The laser can be fired from the research central control after you enter the safety override code number two. Well, that was a really inconveniently timed bullet. Now I don't know what the cocky code is. Also, this thing's like recharge. I'm not 100% sure how, but it is. I just realized it's the energy meter up in the top right. That's what powers this thing. It's me. I've plugged it into me. Got it. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh, oh. I think I may have just walked into some trouble, by the way. You are not welcomed here. Remove yourself. Remove yourself. Okay, I think I may possibly have just caught Shodan's attention as I was just, you know, moseying out to the tutorial area. She, um, she definitely knows I'm here now. Oh, and I think we've got, yep, she's definitely aware of me, but that's fine because I've got Electro Gun. This elevator serves me alone. I have complete control of this entire level. With cameras as my eyes and notes as, as, as my hands, I rule here, insect. insect. Okay, basically, um, Juan, thanks for letting me know precisely where you don't want me to go and how to get there. Really appreciate that. So, just a mosey on around the station, taking out every little camera and whatnot. Oh, and you know what? I'm getting really good vibes about, uh, yes, this room right here. This feels important. I'm gonna smash it. Seriously, why the hell would we ever have moved on from this representation of cyberspace when it is so demonstrably superior to anything else that came after it? So, okay, the blue lads charges, uh, the pink lads, they're not really to be worried about. Green lads, they flit about, they produce giant swells of uh, fire. Just take you out, buddy. Start strafing around the outside here. There you go. I see you, buddy. You're generally not the toughest cookie in the shed. A few more down over there, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is my real target. If I could just finish you off, then, yeah, we get to. There we go. Medical force field door has been activated. Whatever that means precisely. I'm assuming that means I can, yes, yeah, start getting forward to where I need to be. Screw you, buddy. Oh, this is just... This is lovely. This is just absolutely lovely right here. And back out of cyberspace we go. So that opened up this door, which is... Uh-oh! Enter the room, insect, and it will become your grave. I mean, she's not wrong. In fact, I didn't even enter the room and it already is kind of, you know, a bit of the way there. Basically, I'm going to try zapping him with my little zappy gun, which feels like... Uh-oh, that's not looking good. Right, this thing. This thing's good for robots, apparently. So there we go. That's got to be marvelous. Man, it sure would be a shame if someone shot your CPU nodes, wouldn't it, Shodan? Right, just to give you a bit of a shooting. Lovely. That seems to be doing a bit of damage to you. I'm definitely seeing fire and smoke. This will flip it, do the job, and just, ah, oh, basically screw you. So, back to the elevator that Shodan very helpfully points out to me. Just nip inside, and this time, nothing you could cock it do to stop me. Over to research I go. And that was the first cocking level. Just, you know, the basic tutorial bit 
of System Shock. Also, I feel like maybe I don't necessarily want to, like, you know, hang out in this in this area, like, for too long. Maybe I'll just, like, toss one, one little tiny grenade right into the middle of these guys and see if that maybe takes out a few of you stupid losers. I'm gonna be honest, I was hoping for, like, more... Okay, you know what? That's fine. We can just use the spark beam. So, in conclusion, it turns out that, yes, research is probably gonna be a fair bit more of the same. I feel like, yes, maybe this is not the safe area where the humans are mounting a noble resistance. Actually, no. As it turns out, no. But, I would say, I think you get the point. This here is System Shock, and, uh, okay, I get it. I get why people bring this up as a game that was ahead of its time, because uh, if you release this today, which they literally just have, uh, the conclusion I come to is, uh, this is a game that is uh, more interesting, more intelligent, more well-designed, uh, deeper, just in general, a more fascinating game with more to it than the vast majority of new games that I have played this year. It really is a cocking, interesting game. And it doesn't even feel that dated. That's the incredible thing for a game that's almost 30 years older. It doesn't feel dated at all in terms of gameplay. Like, it's pretty hardcore. You lose how fast, as was often the case back in these days. But yeah, overall, it's just a really interesting game that plays really well to the stage. So... Okay, watch this space. This might well be an option for a live stream so we can dig a little bit deeper into this. But I will say, whether or not you played the original, and as I said at the start, basically nobody bloody did, I think this is worth a look. And not just as an example of a really interesting bit of ungaming heritage, but like as a game that still stands up really nicely in its own right, this is really, really damn cool. So... Yeah, worth a look, I'd say. Link in the description below, and we may well see a bit more of it. We shall flipping see. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been the excellent System Shock. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Now I kind of want to see if I can shoot something out of midair, so... And... It turns out I'm a genius at guns. Why is it beeping? What? What's beeping? Oh, my health, because I'm about to die. Everything's fine. You stay the flip down. I wasn't emotionally ready for any of this.